Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. In Capricorn today we have another awesome reading. Yeah, I always say that with conviction because uh, because I feel like that's true, right? And uh, you guys probably know me. I'm uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty legit. I'm pretty authentic, right? And I try not to be uh, I don't know what's that word honest to a, to a fault. Yeah, that's not good, right? Or that term, right? And uh, yeah, but today Capricorn, uh, before we get into the reading. If you want your own psychic reading, you may always get one. They're accurate. I'm a silver grad. We have the tarot spread at the end. So you get a combo. You get two different readings. It's just really a lot of fun. And if you don't understand somebody or you don't trust them, you know, unfortunately, right, uh, then you will by the end of, you will understand them by the end of the reading. Yes, you will. So let's get into this. If you want a free five-minute psychic reading with Mystic Sense, you may get one of those. You can get a Tree of Life reading with me, a tarot spread. Uh, the free five minute psychic reading is below with mystic sense. Click on that link and, uh, yeah, mine is mystic gem and you can get a tarot spread unto itself, a tree of life reading. And, you know, there's a whole bunch. So let's do this, Sag uh, Capricorn. And here is a beautiful woman and they look like they're from, I don't know, Uzbekistan or something like that. But, uh, uh, dressed very, very beautiful, very ornate, right? And here is uh, the sword, and they call this card in this deck the split. Yeah, and they don't mean the banana split, uh, Capricorn, right? No. Uh, and so, you know, the sword is here, the heart's on the sword, but she's crossing her arms, and this is about a split, like, you know, two, uh, uh, two people splitting up. And here he is, you know, clenching his fists, right? He looks like a punk, right? Because you don't do that to a woman. No, you don't, unless she's, you know, like, I don't know, hurting you or something, right? But... Uh, she's staying there, you know, and, uh, and so he's, you know, they're both like, they're going to split up here. That's what that's about. That's a big fight, right? The split is, you know, from, I don't know, uh, what's the other one? Have, uh, uh, Afghanistan to Uzbekistan, right? You know, it's a long ways away here. You can tell, right? Yeah. And, <laughs> and so, you know, uh, this is, uh, about Aries. Here's Aries here, you know, and Aries in this card means anger or, uh, like it does, it means kind of, cause Aries can be about anger. It, it definitely can, uh, you know, the shadow side or, you know, or the lower side or just once in a while, right? If you get mad or something like that, right? But Aries can be about anger here. And here we have Libra too. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, Venus here. So this is kind of like anger within a relationship. That's really right. Anger. And he, they are mad there. There's trust me, there's anger here. Uh, bad feelings right here. And then we have, you know, uh, what's this guy's called? What's his name again? Something King, uh, you know, but, uh, this poor King here, uh, he is, he's a nice guy. And, uh, you know, he took off his cape and all that and his sword and his crown and he's laying there and he's got all these potions here. Uh, he's got a book here and, you know, but these potions are to help him sleep and, you know, feel better. And every night he goes to bed, he says, well, maybe it'll be better tomorrow. So, uh, but it never is. So the ailing King, I think that's his name. So he's laying there. He could be a little bit sick, but it's like, it's from the mind or from, from the heart, like, because he's, you know, he's not well emotionally. Right. So here's the sun or here's, yeah, here's Leo and here's Virgo. So this is like, could be, you know, sick in love, like a broken heart or, or, or your relationship is ailing. So you're, you're feeling, you know, uh, because every morning he's, he says, oh, it's even raining outside here. <laughs> yeah. Every morning he says, I hope it's better tomorrow, but it never does. And here's Virgo over here. And Virgo is about your daily life, your daily routine. That's what it has to be good for Virgos, right? Especially Virgos who are, you know, older. They're like, oh no, this has, this has, my, my day has to run smooth. Right? So this, this King, he knows his days, his days are, they're definitely not running smoothly. They're really unhappy and he's ailing. Yeah. And so this is somebody who's in a relationship. They don't want to be in here. Yeah. That's what this is. Capricorn. Uh, I feel like this person could be somebody from your past. We have Pandora's box here. Yeah. Uh, and you know, Pandora's box and you know, it's about somebody from the past and, uh, typically it is. And so she, you know, she opens the box and out comes the pestilence, you know, like the bugs, uh, and then there's famine, things like that. Uh, and so there's kind of a little bit of fear associated with Pandora's box, but it's about some, it's, it was about somebody who was curious or, or, or hopeful. Yeah. At least curious here. 
uh, for something good, basically. And so here we have the storm warning. And, you know, here's a couple that's fighting. So definitely there's a storm coming, right? Uh, right. And so, uh, and you know, here, this, this kind of pillar thing has, you know, broken. Uh, and, uh, this is, these are the mountains here. It looks like it's the water, but I don't believe it is. And, uh, maybe, but, uh, this is, there's a funnel, like a, a cyclone or a tornado. I'm not really sure what the difference is or if they are the same, right? No, <clears throat> uh, because we haven't had any here. I think there was one a couple of years ago or something, but, uh, and you know, anything can happen with the earth, right? Yeah. I mean, we had ice ages years ago, so, you know, it's not predictable, right? No, it's not, uh, because the, the earth goes through its own evolution, right? Mm -hmm. But here, the storm warning here is, you know, here is, uh, the, you know, the funnel or the, the cyclone here, and this is a storm warning. It's also an ending. It's a completion. So something ends here. Uh, this relationship looks like it ends. I'm not sure who that is. That could be you and somebody else, but somebody, you could be in Pandora's box, Capricorn. They could be coming back to open it because we have the man holding a coin. Uh, he's pretty cute. He looks like that Venezuelan actor uh, who's cute in some movies, but not, not so cute in others. It just depends, but he, uh, he's probably a little cuter here. This guy's a little younger too. Uh, he's a Venezuelan actor with a Russian name, I believe. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah. And so, but you know, here he is holding this coin. He's got money. That's the whole point of it, right? This is a number seven. So there's been much contemplation here, right? And remember the ailing King, he had plenty of time to think about stuff, right? He's, right. He's like, he's in bed and he's trying to distract himself with the book, but he already fell asleep. Right. And, uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah interesting virgo is about health and he's not in good health so this is about love or it can be about creativity sometimes but in this reading it's about love that is not healthy somebody's relationship is not healthy and we see it here right let me fix this camera you guys you're like come on power and light fix the camera yeah there you go sorry you guys and so here's a man holding a coin and here's the beautiful native American woman, uh, very young and beautiful. And she, uh, is praying that she's making a sacrifice and she's praying, <clears throat> she's praying to the sky, uh, to bring her something that she is, you know, she's hoping, uh, some type of sacrifice will be made by the gods or something like that. I feel like she is making one and she's hoping that out of that sacrifice, something really good is going to come because she's praying to the rainbow here and these flowers that are up in the sky. Yeah. And then we, of course we have Pandora's box here, something, a sacrifice is made. Uh, and we see the unhappiness with both of these cards. So somebody is being left behind most likely, uh, you know, and it could be this pretty lady over here. Maybe it's a man. We're not sure about that part. Right. Uh, but something's being sacrificed, right? <clears throat> that word's kind of a heavy word, right? Isn't it? Uh, yeah, and it has to do with uh, sacred, right? Being sacred. Uh, letting go of something that is sacred. Or sacrificing for something that is sacred, right? Yeah, I interesting, right? Yeah. And so uh, let's see what we have, Capricorn, in this reading. And I hope you guys are having a great day today. Yeah, on this Friday... Thank God it's Friday, right? Yeah. And, uh, mm hmm Yeah, somebody's, somebody is le letting go of a relationship in this reading. And it's, this is the first card here, which, you know, if you guys watch me, right, this is the, uh, the overall energy, at least in the Oracle spread, uh, and the completion over here, or the, oh, not the completion, but the, um, the, potential outcome is opening Pandora's box, right? Maybe this person's hoping that, you know, that the sacrifice they made will not be in vain or, you know, something's going to happen that's negative or it just won't work for them because when we make a sacrifice, we do it, uh, to have something better, right? We always do, right? Yeah. You go to school and deal with your teacher, even though she might not be nice at all. And, you know, maybe she's tough on you, but, uh, you're, you know, you're sacrificing so you can get out right? And you can get a good grade and things like that. Let's see what we got, uh, Capricorn. Uh, two of Swords. <clears throat> so we have uh, 
the strength card is here. There's courage here. Yeah. When people make sacrifices, they usually have courage. They do. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, that's when we don't want to sacrifice something. We usually don't have courage. Right? It's typically like that. Yeah. So let's see. I'm going to move the camera down for you guys. And there we go. Right? Yeah, there we go, uh, Capricorn. The Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles is here. Maybe there's two women. Maybe they both both want this king who's lying in bed here with the potions. <laughs> Maybe they do. <laughs> there could be third party energy here. There really could. Uh, there definitely could in this particular reading. But uh, two of swords, or there could have been. It doesn't have to be right now. I'm not, it's not coming up here like, oh, look at that. And it's not really coming up like that. But there could have been in the past, right? There definitely could have been. Uh, we're not sure on the timelines on these uh we're just not right in a private reading it's it's you know it's easier right okay so we have the two of swords here and the strength card and this is in the overall energy here the strength card is uh it can be the challenging card or the supporting card but it sits somewhere in between uh in the crossing they call this the crossing energy and so we see the two of swords with it and the two of swords is uh, a card of, in this particular reading, uh, I have to have this two of cups. I have to be with Capricorn. I have to have that. I have to make the sacrifice. Maybe it's you, Capricorn, who makes the sacrifice. I have to open Pandora's box. I have to get out of the storm warning. Looks like something's going to break up right now. Look, doesn't it? Somebody's going to break up right now. It's a number 10. It's a completion. I have to have Capricorn. Therefore, I have the courage. And that's what I was saying about sacrifice. Like if you really want something, you'll get the courage to make the sacrifice, right? Whether it is like really working hard or leaving something kind of behind, but it's usually uh, kind of letting something, leaving something behind or reaching some type of a completion in order to have something you want. Yeah, right. So, you know, here's Leo. Maybe there's a Leo here. There could uh, let's get another card for you, Capricorn, and we'll use the bitty cards over here. The, yeah, let's see what we got for the little itty bitty cards. And we have the five of pentacles. See, something, somebody gets left out here, and it's this. It's this, somebody who's fighting, most likely. It's the storm warning. Uh, it could be that somebody doesn't agree with somebody anymore, and they want their life to work because of this Virgo energy on this card. Uh, this is about health, but... Uh, because he's ailing, but this Virgo here is, uh, that's what Virgo, it's really, because they're practical. Virgo will be uh, married to the attractive woman where their life works uh, much more than Virgo will be married to, you know, the knockout beauty where their life is a mess. Yeah, that's, <laughs> right, you could be saying, well, a lot of people will probably, well, not everybody, right? Okay, they're practical. So, Five of Pentacles is here with the Strength card. This is like, I have to, I have to have the courage to leave, this, to leave this out, to walk away from some type of lack here, right? And this king lives with lack every day and he tries to be hopeful, but you know, that didn't work to hopeful. So he started drinking over here, Capricorn, right? Yeah, he did. <clears throat> and, uh, let's see what else. 10 of cups shows up with the six of wands. And this is what's helping you. Somebody wants a victory with you. I feel like they recognize you. Yeah, they recognize you, Capricorn. They recognize you, Six of Wands, as they're happily ever after. That's what's helping you here. And they recognize that something else is not working out for them right here. Yeah. And so over here in the past, we have the Page of Pentacles. This is like I value. The next of the Two of Swords, this is like... I don't have a choice here. I got to, I got to go be with Capricorn. I have to do this because here's value. And over here's lack. I want to move with a value where, where I think something's really worthy. I believe in it. The pentacles are about belief systems and we have the seven of cups. Yeah. Somebody made a choice here. They had options. They said, Oh, Capricorn's way better. Yeah. That's what this is going on here. And this is for anybody with a lot of Capricorn. It's not just for Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. This is why it's, it's imperative that you know your chart, right? Yeah, you can go get a free one at cafeastrology.com if you know your time of birth and place of birth, right? And you can see uh, how many placements you have in 
and you can't even look at them and see if you, you know, if you have more earth and then you're, you know, that's it. Then you, you know, and you can also see if you have more, uh, I feel like you can on that website, but you can see if you know what sign kind of rules your chart. Yeah. And it's not always your sun sign or your arising or your moon for that matter. No, it's not always that. Okay. So down here, Capricorn, here's the queen, right? The queen of pentacles always looks like the nice lady. She does. Uh, she's very, she's into her, she can be into her family because this, the pentacles are about, uh, belief systems, but they're about family and food and, uh, stability. Yeah, they are. They can be about belief systems and let's see. And we have the, the page again, this is <clears throat> what's coming into play for you. Somebody's coming to tell you that, uh, that they value you here and that they believe in you and them. Yeah. They believe in you guys. Because we see it here with them recognizing you as the Ten of Cups. Here's the Two of Cups here coming uh, soon to a uh, theater of Capricorn, right? And uh, the Two of Cups is showing up with the High Priestess reversed. You know, maybe this is a water sign. Here's the Queen of Cups. It's a tear. There could be a water sign here. A Leo, Queen of Pentacles, uh, any earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And then we have Judgment. And Judgment is typically uh, Scorpio, right? Mm hmm. Uh, and so here we see this reversed. This could be somebody who just is trusting their intuition. It could be a water sign who's sacrificing something or somebody here to have the two of cups, to have you Capricorn, to have this. This is a relationship that really works. The two of cups. If there's respect here, he's giving her the cup and they're looking at each other with admiration, right? You need respect and admiration. Uh, and over here, maybe there's a lot of passion, but there's no respect left and there's no admiration. He's clenching his fists. Uh, I wouldn't call that respect, uh, you know, toward a woman. No, I wouldn't. And you know, it's just how I, I feel. Uh, and she shouldn't do it either, but she's not right. She just, she's not. And you know, he's, he's being aggressive here like that. And that's, you know, inappropriate, right? Or it's, that's not cool. Right. Yeah. And so here's the seven of wands and this is how you're being affected. And, uh, you're overwhelmed. Maybe you're trying to resist all this in some way you could be, feel challenged and you're trying to like hold your ground here, or, you know, maybe you feel like you have to defend yourself on some level, maybe just inside like your heart or something like that. And queen of swords reversed. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, this can be somebody who you, maybe you feel angry here, Capricorn queen of swords reversed. Not all the time, but sometimes she can be really angry and kind of like, kind of some wrath there, like, like fury, right? Uh, mm -hmm. you could be feeling affected this way, but I feel like really what this means, Capricorn, in this particular reading, that somebody has already discerned this 20 times, <laughs> right? They thought about it many, many times. We have the man holding a coin. It's 43. This is a number seven. That's a uh, major contemplation. And we see the seven of cups in the past. That's major contemplation. That's like, what am I going to choose here? And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be careful here. He's trying to be careful. He hasn't picked the snakes yet. No, he has he? I don't think he has on this card. One of them already had, like, I don't know, snake around his waist, right? <laughs> and so this is somebody who already really discerned this. Now, you might be feeling overwhelmed if you're dealing with an air sign. That could be the energy here as well. Uh, and you, maybe you are angry here, kind of overwhelmed here, but, uh, it can be the other way too, that somebody has already kind of discerned all of this, uh, and they could be resisting, uh, this other person. This is definitely resistance. There's a big split between them. Like, I don't want you stay on your side. Uh, we're going to split up and you know, the earth will move for you that way. And the earth will move this way for me. Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow. And so let's see what else we have and, uh, how you affect this person. Capricorn could be the queen of cups. Now the reading could be switched and, you know, it could be vice versa, right? Could be, uh, that's how it is with a general, a general reading and the queen of cups, how you affect them. You have them loving you and you have them, they have compassion for this, which is really what every relationship needs is compassion and patience, right? Just the same way they say in Spanish, you know, they say you, you know, you have so much patience with your voice when they're talking about love, when they're talking about somebody who really loves you, they, 
they don't talk to you mean they of course not with patience right and we have the world card here and she's naked so we have to do this right okay and so uh you know this is how uh you affect this person is that what i said yeah how you're affecting them capricorn queen of cups the world card you have uh i feel like you've made this person change because this is uh, a lot of maturity and growth right the the world card talks about somebody who is uh it can be really authentic she's naked authentic in your own skin but you have to suffer on the way through all the uh through all the you know the major arcanas you had to go through all of them the death card the moon uh you know uh you know uh the hangman all this stuff but here this is how you affect them so this is ending a cycle you've made this person leave some type of a cycle end a cycle and it, it's here i feel like it's there i feel like it's a storm warning i feel like it's a sacrifice that is up here and so you have not made them nobody makes anybody do anything in this world right I mean, you might make your kid go to school, but you know, nobody makes another adult do anything. We can influence them and encourage them and, you know, and even seduce them. Right. But in the long run, we don't really, you know, make them it's up to them. Right. And so this here, you have uh, really kind of influenced them here, Capricorn in a deep way. Uh, your fingerprint is, is on this person's heart, right? This is like an indelible fingerprint here. And here we see that uh, this is closing out cycles and living a whole new way, a whole new world. This is how you have affected this person. And this is maturity. And they are. Yeah. I feel like they have grown. This person could have grown big time, right? And your hopes and fears, Capricorn, is uh, could have been your hopes and fears for a while maybe. But hopes and fears is judgment. Oh, we have to cover judgment, right? Because she's... Once again, she, you know, she took off her, uh, her lingerie here, right? Or they did, right? There's a whole bunch of people here. And so judgment is showing up in the hopes and fears here. This may be your person's hopes and fears. And, uh, this is rebirth. This is, uh, this can talk about an awakening, right? Awakening always makes people more mature, right? Sometimes we go through several in our life. That's just how life is. And then we die and then we're reborn. And that's what judgment is about, right? I mean, that is if you believe in reincarnation, I, I do. So here uh, we have, you know, but this is about, you're hoping, you're hoping that a sacrifice is going to be made and this person has really awakened, most likely. And you are hoping here that there's going to be a rebirth. Let me turn this over with the sticky on it. There's going to be a rebirth here, Capricorn. And, oops. And with that rebirth, where's the little itty bitty cards here? With that rebirth, Capricorn, uh, you could be hoping that this person has made the decision to sacrifice something. It could be to sacrifice their old ways, too. Maybe this is them in the past with you, for some. But, you know, that it could be, right? But here, um, whoever this is, this could be somebody coming from this type of a situation that you don't really know that well. Maybe you met them a long time ago, Pandora's box, right? We're not sure. But here, you could be hoping they have awakened. These are both awakening cards. This is an awakening and this is, uh, you know, epiphany. It's the same. This is also, uh, maybe you're hoping for forgiveness on some level, right? Possibly. And for some, maybe you're hoping that, you know, they will forgive themselves, right? I mean, some people have guilt. I don't really see it here so much, but there could be guilt. This king over here, sorry for whatever decision he made, you know, but he's, he's tried to, he tried to like fix things in his life. And then one day he gets up because you know what, I've been trying to make this better for a long time and I'm not anymore. Yeah. It's not healthy. It's not good for me. It's not going to change. And let's get one more card for you guys, Capricorn. And we have the Six of Pentacles with it. So here's the Six of Pentacles. And you're hoping, I believe, for a give and take situation. You could be hoping that the scales will be balanced for you. And that everything will be, like, there will be harmony. Or or everything will be fair for you. Like, in your, in your world, right? In, in your heart, you know, possibly here. But definitely this is, like... 
I, I hope this person, I hope for rebirth. That's what this is about. This can be, I'm really hoping for this reconciliation. And that's what this is about. This is really, uh, for some, this is about a reconciliation. You could be hoping this person sees things through different eyes. This guy does. He used to think everything was kind of great or, or, you know, yeah. And he realized I'm just lying to myself. Nothing's changing. You could be hoping they're changing their, their perspective here and that they have gone through an awakening about that. You could. And this hangman here that talks about sacrifice, this can be definitely, this is also the hangman. This can be an epiphany and an enlightenment. And usually with enlightenment comes some type of sacrifice. I'm sacrificing my old ways. I'm sacrificing this over here. I don't want it anymore. It's not me. I don't identify with that. Yeah. And so this is what you could be hoping for here. Now, you could be hoping they made a decision, judgment, based on, uh, based on their enlightenment or, you know, could or their perspective this is interesting this is in the reverse here i just noticed that the hanged man because <laughs> he's standing up right so yeah you i feel like you're hoping something has already been sacrificed here whatever that is it could be a belief system it could we're not sure here right that is what we're not sure of there's plenty of pentacles here to kind of back that but here's the seven of cups or you know identify with that or imply that seven of cups shows up in the outcome here it is in the past you know, you could be, the potential outcome doesn't mean like exactly what's going to happen all the time. It could be the outcome in this reading. It could be just kind of the outcome here. It just depends. That's how it is, right? But this seven of cups, let's have a look. Let's get a card on it. And, uh, mm -hmm. and now we have the lovers here. So this is definitely about choices, right? The seven of cups, he's trying to choose, you know, between, um, uh, between the jewels and the snake, right? And he's like, you know, he's really looking at it. It looks like he's doing a magic job here, but he's really a magic spell, but he's really confused. Yeah. And so, you know, and he's trying to make the best choice he can. We have the lovers with it. So a choice is being made here. You may be confused if that's going to happen, possibly. Right? But I feel like uh, somebody has made a big choice here, uh, uh, a major choice. And with Pandora's box, whoever made the choice here could be a little bit afraid when they open the box, it might not work out, right? Here come the bugs, right? I don't want any bugs, right? Yeah. I put some lavender in here in a little cup and the ants went away. Yeah. There's somebody who used to watch my videos who always said, oh, there's an ant there. That means something. <laughs> yeah, there's a hundred over there. Yeah, they're not here anymore. So yeah, so somebody might have a little bit of fear here, Capricorn, right? They could, yes, about opening the box. But it's going to happen in this particular reading. Yeah, whatever was lacking, uh, which is over here, is being left out. It's being left out, and the storm is, uh, the storm is on the rise right here, or unfolding, right? Which is an ending, storm warning number 10. Yeah, we're going to end this reading, Capricorn. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless you guys. Get your reading. Yeah, lots of fun. Yeah, we do them. And you'll find out about so-and-so. You definitely will. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.